everyone, in this video I'm gonna be showing you my best failed projects this year. We're gonna start from small things and move up to bigger and bigger projects. The very first project that I wanna show you is this character creation that I wanted to do for some kind of a multiplayer game. Now this game was supposed to be a third person kind of multiplayer mini game type game and as you can see there's a lot of things that you can do. You can run around, basically you can jump, but you can actually change characters. As you can see like I'm this robot at the beginning, if you go to the Tony Hawk you can actually become Tony Hawk and you can actually choose your character this is like bully bully character which I mean it's stupid but it's actually cool and then there's these two portals which you can actually walk through and uh, yeah you basically walk through and you stand there for two seconds and you get spawned to this random ass map this was supposed to be some kind of ice map where you could push other people like this it's not pushing but you get the idea at this point i got really bored of it really didn't know how to implement the net code in it i was way too bored but if you actually i don't know what happens if you go to the red one let's actually go and try to go to this red one. Oh yeah this was my attempt at a sword fighting and it wasn't even remotely close to finishing. As you can see, it always spawns Tony Hawk. But that's the very first project that I want to show. It's simple, it's quick, and it's not something in depth. We're gonna go to something more complex. Now, my next project that I want to show you is the randomly generated survival controller. This was supposed to be my controller for procedurally generated survival game. These plants are way too big, but we didn't bother fixing them. This project should have been like, oh, I want to create a really cool character controller for survival games and as you can see it's actually really good I have this axe in which you can swing and you can listen to this different swings every time it basically loops over the three sounds if we go to the tree you can actually hit it you can grab the trees it's it's i think it's really cool but uh, i realized that it's really difficult to create like realistic style games like as you can see this is hdrp and this is kind of looking realistic which uh, it's difficult to like find these models and file size is huge i definitely will reuse some of this project in something else i don't know whether that's gonna be a low poly or a pixel art but i think i've learned a lot from this project I'm kind of sad that I wasn't able to record anything off of it, but you know, I spent quite a bit of time making all of this and the idea for this game was, I think, so good. I don't want anyone stealing my idea, but it was really cool and I think 100% I will use it for something else. As you can see, it's procedurally generated, so it's always generating the random mesh or the terrain and random plants and random trees. Moving on to the next project. Now, this next project is the most finished one and my idea was I wanted to create a crossy road type game but with cubes and it was supposed to be called just cube yeah you could buy different types of cubes you can customize your cube and then yeah I mean it's a really cool idea but nothing came out of it this was supposed to be a mobile game that's where I was so like big on ah at least I'm gonna start publishing mobile games because I don't know I think I wanted to boost my motivation by actually posting these projects it worked for two games and then I stopped again <laughs> I mean it happens. The original idea was you have to jump on the cube that your cube is colored in. So basically if your cube is red you only can jump on red cubes uh, or if your cube is uh, green you can only jump on green cubes and basically by collecting these coins you will have more coins to buy characters from. That's basically the game. I think it's a, it was a really cool quick mobile game. I mean I didn't put a lot of effort into this. This was actually done pretty quickly and then I was like okay what should I add next? and basically that was it like I couldn't come up with a cool idea on what to add so I stopped if you have any ideas on what I could add and what I should add please let me know down in the comments and I'll 100% add it because this game is literally almost finished like as you can see the main gameplay is actually done like there's nothing that's like missing from this game I also experimented with some shaders that I really wanted to show you uh, basically this shader is something that I really want to create. I mean, you guys know that I did the combo systems, that I did Project Gizmo Katana, like attacking combos. I want to make some kind of a third person slash top down.
down kind of sword based combo game i don't know like this one was my custom style and as you can see it's basically anime kind of it's an anime this is an anime character but as you can see it's like this it's really really cool the style is i think it's so cool the outlines and the whites and the black outlines and yeah it, like i'm prepared to make as many videos as possible in the next year and i hope we create some really dope ass projects because this year was i think amazing and i want to thank all of you for the support and yeah make sure you subscribe like and comment on what i should make next and i'll see you guys in the next one